Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm just gonna quickly tell you all of the great things that you can do with this uh, new free preset and just one thing that you can't. If you like what I do please subscribe to the channel and leave a like to this video because it really helps and always check the description box below because there's always some cool and free stuff down there. Anyway let's get to this new free preset. This utility preset is obviously based around one specific factory cabinet from the Line 6 Pod Go, and that is the 4x12 Cali V30, which is of course the Mesa Boogie 4x12. With this preset there are four blocks and four snapshots that you can try. Let's go through snapshots first. With every new snapshot you get a new microphone placed on this cabinet. In snapshot 1 we have the 160 ribbon, in snapshot 2 we have the 57 dynamic, in snapshot 3 we have the U47 condenser and in snapshot 4 we have the 421 dynamic. So the next time that you want to dial in a tone I suggest that you start here. You start by listening through four different mics that I've selected here and try to figure out which one of them fits your tone or that particular amp the best. Okay now let's go to four other blocks, the four stamps that you can use. I've left the mono effects loop here uh, just in case. I've added a big room reverb that you can also try. There's also a foot switch assigned to the input gate, a switch named Scoop, uh, which engages the three band compressor from the Lines in Spot Go and heavily scoops your tone. There's also a switch named Kick, which engages the Alpaca Rouge, which is a very powerful boost from the uh, Red Llama by Way Huge. The final switch is named high cut because that engages a very strategically placed high cut at 6.9 kHz. So first two tips on using this preset. Obviously adjust the input gate based on your levels of noise. And secondly adjust the amount of high cut that you want. If you want to cut deeper, if you want a darker tone, do the high cut, apply a deeper high cut. If you want less, apply uh, less. Again, you know how I hate giving out uh, exact numbers, but there are a few other things that you can do with this parametric EQ to further shape your tone. I've selected three different frequency bands. With the first one, uh, the one that's set at 120Hz, if you want a fatter tone, I suggest that you increase this control. And if you feel that your tone is a bit boomy, then decrease this uh, first uh, low frequency control. The second thing, and this is one of the things that people uh, ask me about quite often, is uh, the boxiness of their tone. And in this case, you can use the middle frequency. I've set that to 420Hz. So if you feel that your tone is a bit boxy or even a bit muddy, I would suggest that you bring down this control by a few dB. You can make a deeper cut by, I don't know, maybe 4, 5, even 6 dB, but I honestly wouldn't go further than that. To control the high end of your guitar tone, I've set this high frequency bed to be at 2.8k and the Q factor is quite wide, so use this very, very sparingly. Uh, 1 or 2 dB if you want a brighter tone is enough and if you want a more softer tone then I suggest that you also apply a 1 to 2 dB cut in this region right here. Of course there is the low cut control here but there's also the low cut control inside the cabinet which I've left at default which is 80 and if you want more if you want to cut deeper into your tone then of course you can bring that value above the uh, 80 hertz which is inside the factory cabinet. Unfortunately the one thing that you cannot do with this preset is change to another factory cabinet and expect these assignments to remain. If we change to a different cabinet, the 4x12 Greenback 25, and if you go back you will see that all the assignments are gone and there will be no uh, switching between snapshots. That's it. If you have more questions about this utility preset, do let me know in the comments below and I'll see you all soon. Adio!